So, I'm assuming most of you know who Fidel Castro was, but just a quick overview. Uh, the beef started in the Cold War. He was a communist leader, dictator in um, Cuba. And in the Cold War, we didn't like communists. We still don't, but we were angry at them then, so we tried to kill them. And the biggest threat, though, was that Cuba is just like 90 miles off the coast of Florida, so like, that's what made him so threatening. And they try to kill him a lot. Uh, so, in one sort of funny way that they try to kill him, they actually got his mistress to get poison capsules to try to poison him. And she stored it in like an ice cream container, and in the process of storage, it actually dissolved into the ice cream, so she couldn't use the pills. And Fidel Castro actually found out later, and instead of killing her or anything, she actually gave him a 45 caliber pistol and said, nobody could kill me, not even you. So that was pretty cool. Uh, twisted sort of way, I guess. Um, like everybody, you know, even dictators, they have their downtime things they like to do. For Fidel, that was scuba diving. He was a big scuba diver. So, in, with the negotiations, they had American lawyers that they sent over to try to dismiss the um, wars, and, or not wars, just like Cold War stuff that was going on. And they tried to give him a poison scuba suit, but uh, while they're transferring the scuba suit, uh, the lawyer actually brought the wrong scuba suit and just gave him a regular scuba suit, and the poison will never even left the lab. And then in another situation, this was like sort of out there, I don't even know how they thought this was gonna work, but they found a really cool looking seashell they painted it really bright colors and put it in the ocean, hoping that Fidel Castro would go after it. The hidden inside it was a bomb. And obviously, that didn't work because the ocean's big and seashells are everywhere. Uh, Cuba, they're known for the cigars. They have really nice cigars. They're also illegal here. But um, the US was willing to break that rule and they actually got Cuban cigars and one of them, uh, they put an explosive inside of it and they tried to give it to him, but they ended up giving him the wrong box. They were really bad at keeping inventory, I guess. <laughs> and then in another situation, once the bomb didn't work, they put poison in the cigar, hoping that would work. But the advisor that was supposed to give him the cigar got cold feet and never gave it to him. Uh, So eventually, Fidel did die, but um, it was November 25th, 2016, my birthday, actually. Um, and yeah, he actually died of natural causes, ironically. And in total, there are 638 known attempts on Fidel Castro. So either he couldn't die, or the US government is bad at assassinating people. <laughs> That is my speech on Fidel Castro, the man that could not die. Thank you.